Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. So today we're going to talk about rank X DAX function with the Power BI and how you can rank every single element or organization that you have. Check this out. All right, so as a continuation from my last video we made on tiers, now we're going to rank those tiers from 1 to N. So we already made an average measure, and I'll just kind of add these in here. They can make an average measure if you want. It's actually going to make it a little bit easier. All you're going to do is just use a divide function and just add the two together for both tiers and then divide them by two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on new measure and we're just going to title this ranking. So the first thing we're going to do is put rank X in here. And this is going to allow us to rank everything from one to N. And then we're going to type in all. All is going to allow us to unfilter everything that we have parent to this table. And then we're going to select the table and column that we want, which is company, because that's the column that we're using to have a ranking structure off of. We're going to close up that one, and we're going to now transition to the rank X tax function because we just wrapped up the all statement. We're going to put a comma, and now it's going to ask us for an expression. So based upon the company, what expression do you want to utilize to actually rank them? So we're going to say total metrics because that's my average function that I have between both tiers that I have set up here that I did not list in the table. And then it's going to ask us for a value. So value is going to be something specific within the table. So if I want to list company A, for example, or company B, this can allow me to do that here. But I want to keep it general. I want to keep it based upon the entire table. So we're not going to put anything here for value. So we're actually going to skip that. And the way you do that is you just simply shift enter, press a comma, and you kind of move on. And now we're going to go to the next line where it's going to ask us for ascending or descending. So ascending is going to have the highest value on the bottom, whereas descending is going to have the highest value on the top. So in order to have a rank of one to end, you kind of see one as the highest, right? So I'm going to use descending because it only makes sense that way. I'm going to put a comma again. So dense is essentially if there's a tie for a certain metric, say company A and B are tied at 53.76% at place number two for ranking two is just going to identify them both as two. But since we have percentages here and they're very unique, uh, we're not going to see that. Whereas skip is just going to kind of skip that numerical value as a whole. So I'm going to put dense and I'm going to close up the parentheses. And now we have our entire structure built out. And then all we're going to do now is just bring in that measure. And just like that, we have our ranking. And now you can sort them however you want. And we have 1 to N, 1 to 5 listed here. So that's how you build out the rank X tax function, folks. Hopefully this video is able to help you out. And thanks for watching. <laughs>